Hello, my fellow investors, and welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we are going to finally go over the dividends for the month of November. There isn't any other activity happening this week. And, well, seeing that it's a short week because of Black Friday as well as Thanksgiving, I figured, you know what, let's just get this over with and show everybody the dividends for the month of November as well as the options, premiums, and the buys and the sells for November, which I have done a whole lot. So, before we get started, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well as well. Make sure to follow us on XFM Investment with join us on the Discord, which is the best place to cast the videos, the shorts, and live streams. Link is in the description below. We actually just had a live stream this morning and for this week monday which is today tuesday and wednesday we're going to have a live stream at market open and by we i mean yes because mike is in there as well so with that said let's get started with this video so jumping into the buys for this month we can see that i i was very busy now i also sold a couple calls and puts as well but we'll cover that in just one second looking at the buys first notable one guys is the fact that you guys have been here on the channel you all know i did buy a hundred smack roos of nike that's right at the price of 76 dollars and 73 cents and right now this is actually looking very profitable nike is up to 79 dollars and 30 cents as if i'm recording this video and yes this is live you guys just saw that number change so it is going really really nice when it comes to this it is up a little bit but it's not really something I'm going to hold forever, and you guys are going to see exactly what I mean in just one second. Nonetheless, though, I did buy this on the 15th of November. Then, on the 15th of November, once again, I bought some realty income. It was sub-60, and I figured, you know what? It was very close to my average share price anyways at $56, so I decided to buy 10 shares of realty income at around $56.60. Then I decided to buy on the 15th once again. I decided to buy Pepsi because it was also decently low. It was under 160. So I decided to buy two shares of Pepsi at $158 on the 15th. And lastly, I decided to buy some Charles Schwab SCHD for 11 shares at $28.67. And this was done on November 19th. And of course, I'm also going to show you guys what I did for my baby boy as well. And, well, you guys can see it right here. I did buy some Broadcom for him. It bought around $164 on the 15th of November. Only one share. And then for Pepsi, I also decided to buy him a share as well. Basically the same time that I bought my share for $158.10. So jumping into now the options premiums, you guys can see that for the October one, that AVGO one is still open and I'm probably not going to close it anytime soon. However, when it comes to the November one, you guys can see that I did sell a cash occurred put for Nike. This was before I bought the 100 shares. Obviously, it's a cash occurred put. Sold it for 53 bucks, bought it back for $18, made $33.68. And then after I bought my 100 shares, I sold a covered call expiring on the 20th of December for a strike of 90 bucks. This is a premium of $36. Now, because Nike is, you know, surging right now for the past two consecutive trading days, it has been su surging. And you guys can tell that the contract value has gone up a lot. Currently valued at... Uh, $67, right? So obviously I sold this for $35 because the contract value is now $67. I am technically down $31.66. But again, this is still out of the money, right? Because it's still underneath the strike of $90. And ideally, I would like for this dollar price to be under $90 by that um, strike date. So December 20th, I want it to be under $90. But in reality, I don't really care about Nike. I did not buy this company to hold forever. It was not a hold forever kind of company. I mainly just did it because I see Nike as a company with a big, big moat and it has been crushed recently. I also figured, you know what? Um, with the whole Trump thing, things are going to get a whole lot easier when it comes to people in general. So we might see consumer discretionary uh, go up a lot in the next upcoming months. And ghost walker shout out to you by the way you pretty much reinforced this idea of mine as well so i figured that yeah you know what I may as well just buy the 100 shares if it goes in the money whatever don't really care i'm probably not gonna roll it but if it goes in the money i'll just let it go and you know i would make around 1300 profit uh after everything's said and done so yeah i don't 
it's still out of the money, sure. If it expires out of the money, great. I sell another cover call. But at the end of the day, if it does go in the money, then I really don't care for it. It'll my shares will just get sold at that $90. And that would make that difference from that $73.67 when I originally bought it. Uh, that difference from that $90, which is which is around $1,300 or so. And because of these cover calls that I've been doing recently, you guys can tell that I am trying my best to get this number down as much as possible before the end of the year. Probably will not be at near zero, but it will. I'm going to try to get it under 100 by the end of the year just because it's, um, yeah, it's not looking too hot, right? It's not looking too hot. I might sell another cover call or cash secured put here and there, um, you know, by the end of this week, but but by, by the looks of it guys i'm probably th this will probably be it it'll be around that 250 dollar negative 250 dollar mark when it comes to the options premiums and now let's jump into the dividends because this is really the the cream of the crop right here right this is really what i'm working towards this whole entire thing you know sure options premiums are great yeah but at the end of the day passive income is what i like and it's the best way of investment for me so we got guys the estimated income for this year being around six thousand four hundred and ninety two dollars now this has gone up because of the fact that i have been buying companies recently right realty income um what's it called nike this did go up you can see that the average monthly it is five hundred and forty one dollars and six cents now because the end of the year is a few weeks away i think it's like five weeks away now yeah we're not going to get too much of a difference here however guys for the month of november we can see that it is going to end up at 448 dollars and 28 cents now i really would like everybody's help when it comes to this because y'all remember the last times i have done this uh monthly passive income video i have shown you guys the december one and it was upwards of 1200 dollars but for some reason, it went down to $953. I do not know why this is the case. Um, I thought it was like dividends going off here and there. No companies cut, at least no companies that I own cut. So I don't know what happened here. Maybe somebody has explanations for this. Um, I would know a little bit more if the API for the macro for the spreadsheet was working. Unfortunately, it is not. So I don't know where this, oh man, where that like $350 went, right? I have no idea where that went so um i yeah i just i just are 250 dollars. sorry i don't know where this where this money went because none of my companies actually cut it could just be ex-dividend dates i guess but we're already almost into december all ex-dividend dates should have already been accounted for for the month of december or most anyways all payout dates should have already been accounted for as well so I don't know why this is occurring. I really do not know. So if anybody has any insights to why this is the case, let me know in the comment section below. And now if we take a look at these graphs, we can see that the November one has actually increased a decent amount. Currently, it is at $448.28. Last year, around this time, was $422.22. Then 2022, $308.74. 2021 $183.51 and the beginning the first year I was investing it was $38.32 really nice increase though this has kind of stagnated around here I'm not even gonna lie but we expect you know towards the November October right those kinds of months you know your January February April May July August October November they're usually pretty low months very very curious to see uh, what is actually going to be the final one? Because you guys can tell that September was great, thousand twenty three bucks. Uh, June was you know eight seventy two, but then March was nine hundred eighty two. So really curious to see how December is actually going to end up like, especially with the Santa Claus rallies and like all these stuff. We'll see what companies um, decide to do next year because next year at the end of the first quarter is when companies begin to raise their dividends a whole lot and when looking at the quarterly dividends we could see that we're at 650 dollars and 40 cents and the annual dividends well we have already surpassed guys 2023 2023 was 5400 bucks and now we're at 5523 dollars with one month to go of around a thousand dollars so yeah right then and there you guys can see the compounding effect when it comes to dividends year over year and now let me show you guys something that i rarely show here and that is my dividends from a salary basis to an hourly salary basis so now let me show everybody my 
annual dividends per, on a salary basis. And we can see here that the current yearly salary is $6,916. It's a little bit different from the Schwab one because the Schwab one doesn't increase it based off of the months, right? Because the months are already passed. They don't count anymore, but this one does. So average monthly salary is around $576.34. Average weekly salary, it is $132.80. Basically, how much um, my dividends are making basically per week, right? Per week. So it's $132.80 on average per week. And then the average hourly salary it is $3.32. The goal, it is, of course, to get this to minimum wage, which if I'm not mistaken, it is still, or at least the federal minimum wage, it is still $7.25, which I am correct about that because I just looked it up. The federal minimum wage, it is $7.25 per hour, which is the same as Pennsylvania, by the way. So the portfolio is still trading along and yeah, uh, $3.32. The goal obviously is to get this to minimum wage and then a lot more. And something also that I would like to show everybody, it is my dividend annual goals. Now, this is different from my yearly goals I have separately. And this is something that I made when I first started dividend investing. You guys can see that, um, yeah, 2021, age 25, back when I was 25 years old, uh, I wanted to make around $1,000 in dividends um, yearly. And that was completed, right? And you guys can see... I've done like my dividend goals throughout the years and for 2024, which is this year, me being 28 years old, the goal was $6,000. Now for next year for 2025, it is an increase of $2,000. So I'm still, I still have left $1,083.91 remaining to hit this goal. So we'll see what happens with this. Um, thousand bucks though in one year, that's a lot like in dividends. That's actually a lot. That's a, that's a decent amount. So we'll see what happens with that. See if I can make it for 2025. And the goal is, of course, to reach $80,000 by the age of 35. Basically what I'm making right now uh, from my job. So we'll see if this happens. We'll see what happens right here with this um, 2025. We'll see. I mean, if things go down, that works. And if I get paid more because the economy gets better, then that works just as well. But so far, this is the goal for 2025 when it comes to uh, passive income. And lastly, let's take a look at the next 12 months when it comes to Charles Schwab and dividends. You can see now that the estimated income and this is very accurate. Granted, to be fair, this is looking at December as well. So yeah, take this with a grain of salt. We can see that the estimated income it is nearly $7,000 at $6,965. Average monthly of $580. And yeah, um, I don't know what happened here, guys. Definitely something happened because I am like it's no longer getting the thousand dollars that I got here in September, just like in 2024, right? 2024, thousand bucks right there. But it's not having it in 2025. So a lot of stuff can happen, especially right around this point, right? March, April. This is where companies tend to increase their dividends a lot. Like we're talking a lot. This is where your Chevrons, your Costco's, your, your Microsoft, basically every major company, the mega caps, the several hundred billion dollar companies, this is where they usually tend to increase their dividends because we get their earnings results the following quarter or, or the previous quarter for Q4, right? So we get their earnings in Q1 for Q4. And then that's when usually they increase their dividends at around March or April of next year. So that's a lot of stuff to look forward to. And honestly, I will most likely be doing videos of my companies when they increase their dividends. So yeah, that's what's coming down the pipeline when it comes to this portfolio in the next upcoming year. All in all though, that pretty much does it guys for this video. We have one more month left. We shall see what happens. I'm going to try my best to get those, you know, to get those, uh, those premiums up when it comes to options, but we shall see. We shall see. Right now, the portfolio, it is up $1,040. It was a lot higher. I think it was like upwards of $1,700, $1,800 by the start of this, but markets have uh, tumbled a little bit here. Yeah, markets have really tumbled a little bit here. So that pretty much does it, guys, for this video. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment. Really does help with the algorithm on YouTube as well. So make sure to follow us on XFL Investing. And if you'd like, join us on the Discord, which is the best place to catch these videos, live streams, as well as shorts. The link is in the description below for that one. And of course, it is free. So with that said, peace out, and we'll see you all next time.